Hello everyone, this is Sean from AI Strategies. Hope you guys are doing well today. And today I have another how to get past AI detection video. It seems like every time I make one of these videos, there's an update and uh, things get changed and there's new qualifications for what count as AI detection and how they work. In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to actually bypass AI detection softwares such as Originality AI. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple. You just gotta pay attention the whole way through and uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are interested. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. We'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, so first, that thing I wanted to talk about was this new article. This was written, I think, believe yesterday. Yeah, May 5th. And uh, basically, what it says is like about how like it actually uh you know detects ai so one thing i wanted to go over for you guys just so you guys can have a better understanding of like what actually originality ai is doing with their uh when they're checking for ai and whatnot and why you guys are having a lot of false positives i know you guys are um so basically a detection score of 60 percent original and 40 percent ai is not a false positive it correctly predicted that 60 what it correctly predicted with 60 percent confidence that your content was original the meaning of the score is not that 60 percent was original and 40 percent was ai it means that it is 60 percent confident that the content is original and that's a lot different it's more of a confidence score than it is anything also uh e editing ai written content is not a false positive it is a true positive so if you guys ever had that issue like i did it's not a false positive also having ai edit your work is not a false positive it is also a, tr a true positive um and also strange formatting can reduce the accuracy of the detector tools causing an increase in false positives or false negatives so if you have weird formatting from different bots that rewrite your articles or rewrite your uh essays or paragraphs then that could also be a reason that you're getting a false positive for ai detection so these are just some of the things that i want you guys to keep in mind when you are uh using originality ai so that it's not as confusing for you when you get false positives or false negatives or you feel like these the the article or whatever that you wrote it got a false positive if you believe that that's probably not the case and there's probably something about the article or the passage that you actually uh, need to change because the uh, originality AI is just working on what it's detecting. And um, yeah, it's just not a false positive. So we will go into Playground, which is how you get here is platform.openai.com slash Playground. And uh, if you guys don't have Playground, then I would... I don't know, suggest getting it. If you guys are interested in more like chat GPT stuff, it does cost money, but it does does it by tokens and um so it's not that bad. You only get you only pay for how much you use it, so it's kind of worth it in some senses. But yeah, so here, once we're here, I'll show you guys. So you're gonna want to change something real quick. Okay, you see this right here, the mode. You're gonna want to have it in chat. That's how you can actually use the system part, which is the important part of this tutorial and the reason that you want that is so that you can actually get past ai detection tools uh because then that is where you're going to put your prompt but we got our prompts here so we got two of them i'm going to be showing you guys how to rewrite articles um and get 100 percent original and how to uh create a blog post or article uh using ChatGPT to uh and also get an original score as well so we are going to start with the create a uh, blog post, uh, not the rewrite. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over here and uh, we are going to, oh, also I want to say that there is these settings on the side here. They're all different. Um, you're gonna wanna have the maximum length to whatever you want it, just uh, so that, you know, just make sure that it's, it's long enough to where your article or whatever, is not over it because then that would be an issue so for temperature you're going to want to increase it to uh 0.89 or 0.9 around there frequency penalty 0.3 in the range it doesn't really matter that much and then uh presence penalty around 0.5 actually we're going to increase this i messed up uh to around 0.7 
uh the ranges you can just test out and see which ones work best for you um but um yeah so these are kind of the settings i mean i don't really think they matter too much but they will a little bit um but mostly it's about the prompts and so we're gonna paste our prompt in here so we have this and the prompt is says for an expert blog post writer you specialize in writing highly engaging blog posts on any topic I write a blog post about uh, normally it says topic in here but I changed it to how to make money in 2023 which is what we were going to write our blog post about um, so you would just change that to whatever topic you have and then write a very professional first person style use multiple literary devices include slang and anecdotes and so yeah so you have this right here and you have your user right here so for in the in the user part is what you're gonna want to you're gonna want to type what you want the output of the uh, article to be. So write an article on how to make money in 2023. And so the system will understand the prompts and then you have your actual, like uh, what do you call it, question or whatever. And then what you want it to write about. And then you just hit submit. And what it's doing right now is writing our article. Oh, it's already finished on how to make money in 2023. This should get a high original score on Originality AI. This is the last test that I did but we're gonna paste this in here and we are going to scan again. Oops, I didn't mean to check for plagiarism. Okay, so there we go. So using this prompt here and uh, having Playground uh, and GPT 3.5 Turbo write our article on how to make money in 2023, we were able to get a 98% original, 2% AI uh, score, detection score on our article, which is very good compared to the last times I've tried this and I kept getting 100% AI. So there you go. There's your prompt for the, uh, the writing tool. Now, if you wanted to rewrite a, um, a, uh, a, a, an article, basically copying one and wanting to put it in here, then you basically just do the same thing. We're going to paste this in here and so this is another prompt it says you are an expert blog writer post writer and you specialize in rewriting highly engaging blog posts on any topic rewrite this blog post how to make money in 2023 rewrite it in a very personal first person style use multiple literary devices include slang and anecdotes so we have this we're going to change this real quick just get rid of that and we're going to put in um right here we're going to put in rewrite this article on how to make money in 2023 and we have our article here and uh, it's just a random one one of the first ones that I found um, on the internet on the Google's on the web and we're gonna copy some of it and we're gonna have this uh, chat GPT 3.5 turbo and playground uh, rewrite this article um, so uh yeah all right so we have our uh original art uh, article that we got from the web here here's our article rewritten with a different prompt using playground um that will likely hopefully uh get 100 percent original on our rewrite for uh originality ai and so we're gonna start a new scan here uh start a new scan and we're gonna paste this in here oh my god why is it not pasting okay here we go so we have our rewritten article uh using the playground mode and uh chat gpt 3.5 turbo and we're gonna see how well it's actually able to detect the ai on this okay so a little bit different um so a little bit more ai so it's 65 percent confident that this is original but 35 percent uh ai so that's interesting um yeah i mean still that's that's more than half so i mean i don't think anyone would really say anything about that being um 35 ai i mean it's it's mostly original so that did pretty good um uh, these prompts are pretty useful uh you can also mess with these settings right here like i was saying earlier or another thing that you can do if you're still having issues with getting 100% uh, AI detection on your articles and uh, your rewrites, then one thing that you can do is put it into a rephrasing tool like Spinbot. This is just one that's decent that I kind of recommend. Uh, just It's just one. There's a bunch of them. There's like Quillbot. But yeah, you can put it into a rewrite tool and see if you can get a better detection score. 
but that's up to you if you guys want to check it out um but yeah that's pretty much all i got for today guys i wanted to keep it short and sweet uh so if you guys learn anything this is what the channel is about uh different ai strategies and softwares i go over on this channel to help your personal brand or your business so if that's something that's interesting to you then please consider leaving a like and subscribing i hope you guys learned something also comment any questions or concerns that you guys might have i'd be happy to answer them in the comments down below and uh, if you guys want to check out the prompts i'll leave a uh, the prompts in the description also i'll leave a link to originality ai in the description and i'll also leave a link to the playground mode uh, for open ai as well and spinbot so i'll have everything down below you guys don't have to worry um and yeah that's all i got for today guys hope you guys learned something hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see y'all next time